Well, good morning, boys and girls. YouTube fishing friends, brothers and sisters. This is Monday, I believe it's the 22nd of May. And I'm just going to hang around the jetty today. Got north wind, so I know there's going to be some ripping big waves out there at the uh, offshore. So I just stick around the jetty. I'm going to try to see if I can cast at me some mullet for the first time this year. We'll see what we get when we get out there. It'll be a nice, beautiful day. The Lord has made. We'll rejoice in it and be glad. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That's gorgeous. Alright, today's Bible study, boys and girls, is going to be about this here wine bottle. See this wine bottle? Kind of like your Bible. If it just sits on the shelf and you don't go looking in it and see if you can find anything. And because there's a lot of hidden treasures in that Bible of yours. But you got to open it up to find out what's going on. I happened to find this bottle, this very bottle, on the beach when I was beachcombing about three years ago after a storm. This bottle had washed up. It had barnacles all over it. You can see the end. You can still see some of the barnacles. And on the bottom, it was just loaded with barnacles. And I thought it looked cool, so I went and put it on my back deck, and there it sat, looked really cool, barnacles all over it, for about three years. Just sat there for three years. No lie, that's the truth. And then earlier, about two months ago, I was doing some cleaning up on my back deck, and I accidentally happened to bump this bottle. And it fell over into the sand in the backyard, rolled, and just about all these barnacles fell off. They all got popped off, and then it looked just nothing but just like an old, regular old wine bottle. I said, eh, I don't want that on my back deck, so picked it up, and I was going to throw it away. No longer was it beautiful, something nice to look at and admire. I was just going to pick it up and throw it in the trash. And something tapped me on the shoulder and said, there might be a treasure in that bottle. So take a closer look. So what I did is I looked at it and said, well, I don't see any treasure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's all corked up. This is the truth, folks. In there is a at least a $10 bill, if not more. I can't tell. But, uh, can you see it? There's your treasure. Just like in your Bible, you've got hidden treasure. And I would have thrown this bottle out had I not went and looked a little more carefully inside just to see what was going on. So folks, let that be your Bible lesson today. Open your Bible. I read my Bible every morning. Every morning. In the quietest place that I know where nobody's going to disturb me. I get alone with my Lord in the bathroom. The Bible says to go into your closet and close your door. Ha! That's where I go. Also out of the ocean. That's another one of my closets. But anyway, pick up your Bible, read it. You'll find some hidden treasures in there, guaranteed. All right, we'll get back to you when we get some mullet or some fish. Well, right now, it's not too bad. Well, that caught me three little pinfish. Not too bad right here. At the end of the jetty. So I'm going to play around here for a while. And see what I can catch with this little pinfish. But while I'm doing that, dropping this down. Let me say, hey, Kinsley and Laney. Josh said for me to say hey to y'all. Hey. And I want to thank David T, Louis C, Craig A, and Craig G, a Vietnam vet. Thank you, Craig, for serving. We may have met each other over there. And I want to thank you for contributing to my GoFundMe page to help me get a bigger boat. So when I go out there, I don't have to deal with getting wet every time. It's safe to get out there and back. Anyway, I want to thank you all. Let's see if we can catch a red, a black, or you know, maybe even a snook. Give it a try, we'll get back to you. 
Well, folks, that's actually my second little lane that I've caught here. Caught a small black sea bass, two small lane snappers. Kind of slim pickings today. Well, boys and girls, as part of the uh, adventure, when you're in the salt water, you never know what can happen, and you always need to be prepared. I've got sea tow, but I'm not going to call them today. My cable broke on my steering, because I don't have any steering. But what I've done is I've engineered the motor straight, locked it in straight, and I'm using my trolling motor to guide me. Now, I'm not going to go fast, but I am so glad that I've got this trolling motor, this GPS-controlled trolling motor, because it's going to help me. <laughs> navigate all the way back to the ramp and then tomorrow i guess or this afternoon i'm going to start working on getting this thing fixed this thing we're going to have to get a new steering cable thank you lord